Hey there everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is a bit of a bonus video and it's, it's to make up for my joke video last Sunday about uh, General Blucher. In that I made a joke that in no way was he, were there any ways that he was better than Wellington or Napoleon. Uh, it, it, <laughs> it, was a bit, it, it was a joke video and most people took it as such. But uh, I did want to just make a, make a quick video about uh, Blucher and just to say I don't actually I genuinely I don't think he was a better commander than Wellington or Napoleon now that's that's no great shame that's like saying you know oh well this guy's not as good a striker as Mo as Mo Salah or uh, Tevez so that makes him a crap striker well he doesn't does it obviously you know you can still be a very good striker he's not as good as those two so I do I, he was a, a very good commander but I think I just wanted to make this point because I think it's an important one. Is that Blucher's main uh, contribution, shall we say, to the Prussian war effort? Obviously, he led the army during the Hundred Days campaign, and he was instrumental there in making sure that the Prussians stayed in contact with the British. So, his "never say die" attitude, which comes out from his absolute burning hatred of the French was certainly valuable there but i i you know joking aside i think the main contribution as i said the main contribution he made to the prussian army was that he was willing to not only enable but also enact the changes from his subordinates so i'm talking people like Scharnhorst or gnais now these people who created what would go on to be the Prussian and then Imperial German army. He gave these guys the room they needed. He gave them the resources they needed. And he gave them his backing. These were just, you know, generals without, you know, necessarily the king's ear. Blücher, he was part of a, a group of Prussian generals who they saw the need to modernize. And not only modernize, but even future-proof themselves to futurize i guess you could say the prussian army uh, they underwent a huge reform again in 1816 uh, they've got much cooler uniforms 1816 actually they're based on the old russian ones they're they're awesome but they went through another um reorganization then and you know you look at things like the crumper system or the the big brigades that they had the mixed units how the cavalry were ordered to remain with the infantry Th things like this these are all the the basis of what led the german army to be the absolute juggernaut it was in europe in the middle of the 19th century and arguably again the best army in the world in 1914 1915 you, know, you could argue it was the british um but you know it, it, it's certainly arguable if not for definite you can argue it i think so i just wanted to make this quick video although i i do enjoy um ribbing on Blucher and his fanboys Re really what I, I wanted to make this just to re redress the thing as a as a general he was he was okay he weakened his army quite a lot he spread it very thin at the battle of Linny. there wasn't a huge amount he could do about that to be honest he had the misfortune of being up against one of the best generals of all time although you know Napoleon wasn't at his best but you know when it came down to it he was a hussar he led the charge at Linny, and he, I mean, the robustness of the guy, he had a horse killed under him uh, in his 70s, then two days later he's leading the march to Waterloo, so no, it, it, genuinely no shade on Blucher, but I think his main contribution was not necessarily something that he did directly, but allowing the circumstances for those changes to take place. So I just wanted to uh, <laughs> to to put this out on a Wednesday. I'm not doing a live stream this Wednesday. I just wanted to put this out as a bit of a uh, an apology almost for uh, for all you Blucher fans out there. But certainly the Prussian army of the 19th century and even the early 20th century would not have been anywhere near the formidable fighting force it was had it not been for the the foresight of old man Blucher. And for that, if nothing else, and there are other things out there, he deserves the utmost respect. Well, thanks for watching. Remember to tune in this Saturday morning. We are live streaming all weekend. We are refighting the Battle of Linny. So 
for you Gebhard von Blucher fans out there, this is the one for you. Can the French smash through the defended village of Ligny? Will the left flank under the command of General Van Damme and, and me, will they be able to smash through Saint-Armand and saint armand la Haye and flank the Prussians? Or will the new Mark Lancers drive them back? Well, you can find out. I can find out because uh, I don't know what's going to happen. And we'll find out on Saturday. I hope to see you guys then. Thank you very much. And I'll see you next time.